Hello guys, welcome back to our channel Chandra Awesome. Uh, in this tutorial video, we will discuss about the surface tools. Uh, actually, we are already aware about our surface design, but uh, we have several uh, some other tools where you can manipulate the where you can perform the uh, adding or deleting the surfaces. As here the surface modifying tools we have worked with before. But we are, we are going to work with today the surface tools. The bound offset surface, boundary surface, fill, bone, no boundary, rolled surface, mutual trend. So these are all the surface tools guys. So let's discuss one by one. Let's first one is offset surface. This offset surface is basically used for uh, used for offsetting the surface from the uh, a body face like uh, you can offset any surface just like I said this face and you can offset it offset it so what is the use of uh, offsetting the surface means we can perform uh, mm, uh, different manipulations along with the surface or else you can create your own part let uh, let's for example I already make a tutorial on uh, by designing some because or like uh, by creating textures I use I basically use the offsetting surface only then I can make these changes into the original part as for example this even you can offset the surface of you can offset any of the surface and manipulate the surfaces and give editing is that is the use of offset surface okay and we have another tool called boundary surface uh, boundary surface is basically used for uh, mm, for uh, close the boundaries. As for example, here we have U profiles and V profiles. U profiles are the first uh, are the like it works as a loft tool. The first profiles, U profiles, and and V profiles are the second profiles. Let's let's sell this. Here it is not going to work because it is a one complete edge, right? Let me select this one and this one and this one. So when I selected the two uh, U profiles, they this created a it uh, a uh, uh, another surface which is connected to the uh, below surface like a uh, it works like a loft tool but uh, it is basically used for closing the boundaries here you can also select the you can select the different edges like for example here see it is actually working see actually and you can also change the boundary conditions from normal to edge normal to profile tangent to profile let me this deselect some one and now see match to tangent see we can even you can even you can manipulate the magnitude and change it and for the u pro, v profiles are work size like a uh, boundary surfaces like this you can manipulate the surfaces here like just like a loft but uh, it is going to be uh, close the boundaries and if you can, can also set v profiles v profiles it is also like we need a surface let's select this one and do the boundary operation again now let, let's sell these surfaces as you profiles just for example yeah now these are already connected let's keep it as new and now we're working with a v profile so we can sell this as v profiles see so this uh surface is act like a uh, uh, guide curve to the other surfaces here you can perform the uh, again change profiles you can manipulate this egg as per you want okay so that is the use of work as like is how we work with the loft tool the same boundary surface also works like this but uh, it is like a ready-made tool you can do less you uh, can perform only some less uh, less operations than the loft tool. Okay, 
that is how to work with the boundary surface and another tool called uh, fill tool you already know how to use the word fill tool fill tool is going to fill the surfaces gaps which are already there like uh, it is going to create fill the holes and make the whole surface into a solid if it is a solid part if it is surface it is going to be make the making into a one surface that is the use of fill tool i don't worry about it guys i already worked with the tutorials with the examples there you can understand how to work with this okay and move boundaries uh, move boundaries it is like a how we work with the move phase the same like the move boundaries is going to be work here see uh, you can move the boundaries as per your distance you want you can also self maintain curvature so it will not uh, uh, change will not change the mm, shape of the surface just like this here you can here to front it is also up to face up to part up to vertex and you can also desell the tangent propagation so it will not follow the other surface i am going to sell another this for this one and here uh, i use it to utilize maintain curvature if i desell this you can see the changes also if i sell this it will change the shape so you can understand when you working with this okay that is the use of move boundaries it and this move boundaries only work with the surfaces not with the solid parts okay it will only work with the surface boundaries as well as uh, instead of edges you can select the whole face also then the whole edges will come to the move boundaries see you can see the operation side here if i if i select the maintain curvature it maintain the shape but when i desell the main curvature it is not it is not working yet like this it is going to be work with the move boundary surface tool okay guys i am going to desell this and we have ruled surface ruled surface is basically used for uh, creating a ruled surfaces of edges of the any surface or it can also work with solid part also uh, let me sell this edge when you sell this edge there is a surface formed and you can change the angles change the propagation extend it and we have a ruled surface type normal to the edge tangent to edge angle with direction let's sell the edge or angle from the direction so in this way you can perform many operations as you want to the surfaces okay and let me sell this uh, let me sell this one again see you can just create the the salt in the edges you can perform that okay you can select as many edges you want see and uh, we have our fence spaces this must be this selected automatically or you can select others also there is no need of it it's totally depends on your wish okay guys so and we have another called vertex override so when you click on one vertex so you can change the angle length and shape of the uh, surface by changing at some point see uh, actually when you select on the vertex the distance and length of the surface is totally changing you can elongate or you can change the angle from here also just like uh, how we worked with the uh, variable fillet the same type here going we are working with the ruled surface that is the whole difference guys and you can also use uh, cubic interpolation so when you cubic when you select cubic interpolation uh, it it makes some changes i don't use i don't know much particular about it i will figure it out and you can also it's just maintaining some uh, continuous shape when you click on the use cubic interpolation okay and when you click on show rule lines so these are the rule lines uh, you can if you want to make a smooth edge you can give as many count or else you can reduce the count for example if you can give 20 sorry so let me deselect you 
you can reduce the lines or you can increase the lines that is how to work with this and we have corner types less like a actually when you work with the curves this, there will be a corner type like a spur corner extend corner uh, lofted and no corners so when you know about this no corners let me explain you let's for example sell this edge also now select no corners so these no corners will work here let me show you where that are no corners will work set the root surface again and just working with the existed one it should be tangent right so when you click on extend corner see the corner is actually going to be extended to one one direction it's not going to be connected here so when you click on lofted corner so it will perform like a how the lofts curves will work here so when you click on no corner the corner will not be formed just like a, it will not get into joint you can observe the difference here right so this is how to work with the corners and the rule service is very useful guys so it will be useful uh, when you're working with the uh, boundaries of the surfaces even okay uh, let's, let's for example I want to work with the work, work here so I just want to make a funnel shape what will you do actually you can do the loft operation or you can use that then you can use the draft tool but using the uh, single tool that is uh, rule surface you can make that changes that is how to use and make use of Rule surface okay and last we can have last but least we have is mutual trim so this mutual trim works like a let's for example let me extend this surface this is the one surface uh, when you work with the mutual trim we need two surfaces okay let me extend this uh, as for example self boundary We need edges, right? Is actually getting set edges. So let's for example, yeah. I'm going to sell this one. Let me sell the ruled surface and I want to make it should be connected with this Let's change the angle increase the distance change one more yeah now click ok here you can see the two surfaces are actually uh, connected here so when you work with the mutual trim it is going to be trimmed mutually like uh, they should be connected to each other as well as they cut into shape let me show you this is the first surface and this is the second surface so when you click on this you can see the uh, one side of surface is cut and merged with the other part just like a, it makes the whole part into one single surface and you can also change the mutual trim directions like uh, here it show the options or else here you can also work with it when you click on, on this see it is going to be delete the other surface and it is remind this edge to be this and if you select this one, it is going to be delete the this major surface also and going to be this shape. So if I work with like this, see, like this you can manipulate the mutual trim. It is basically you can use this uh, mutual trim when you're working with the different shapes of surface designs. Then you can easily work with the mutual trim tool. So that is the actually use of surface tools guys. I think this means you, if you perform and 
and do the many designs using these tools then you can much familiar with this and understand and make your designs very easy instead of complicated to steps okay that is the use of mutual trim guys let me edit again i want the upper shape i hope uh, that's for the first video i hope you might understand what i was going to teach you on how to work with this uh, surface tools in onshape cat software if you really like our content if you really understand please do like share and subscribe to this channel if you are still in doubt please do comment in box and i will make sure add some more deep tutorial along with the example thanks for watching guys have a nice day